I'm Jared Jackhammer Pajian. I'm uh, finally got the call for the UFC on FX. Uh, January 20th, fighting Mike Easton. And I can feel the rain like cool summer tears. And I can come back in a few hundred years. Look at our track record, our favorite high achievers. The common thread is I can, all bright believers. I can hurdle every single obstacle. With training, man, you're optimal and anything is possible. How I got started in MMA was uh, I was in high school. I was on the sophomore football team. One day after practice, one of the guys were jacking people in the locker room. And I, you know, confronted him. Got in a fight. He was still mad about it. Obviously, you know I, I won the fight. A month later, he uh, got all his brothers, friends that are seniors and juniors, and I'm just 16 years old. They uh, got 12 guys and they jumped me in front of the movie theater. Didn't like the outcome of it and kind of was really upset and wanted to train and learn how to fight. And my whole goal was initially to try to fight them one by one, but that never happened. But um, you know I found Rick O'Kane at uh, down the street from my house at Majero's gym and. So I work in my Muay Thai and then transform into MMA and I'm here today making my UFC debut that's eight years ago. After starting his career 4-4, four and four, Papazian found his manager Darren Harvey and mentor Alberto Crane and things improved steadily. He won seven of his next eight fights and earned a title shot against Jimmy Rivera at King of the Cage just under a year ago. He would lose a controversial decision to Rivera, but vowed to earn another shot at the belt. His next fight came on his home turf in Encino, California, where he took on durable Connor Hyatt for the second time. The system, I can pick the lock, crack the code, ship this off, stack the load. You can find me on a misty dock, back in cones. But I'm high without the pleasures of a drug, and I can change my girl's mood with a gesture. The result was the same as Papazian earned a unanimous decision victory after three action packed rounds. With Rivera giving up his belt for a shot at the ultimate fighter, the Jackhammer was given a shot at the vacant belt against veteran Abel Cullum. Sporting his usual red hair, he successfully fought off Cullum's takedown attempts, even scoring some of his own while controlling the stand-up handily. Papazian earned the King of the Cage 135 pound title after five hard fought rounds. The five round war took its toll on both men, and Jared was the one having to go to the hospital afterwards. Uh, he uh, had stitches in his eye and he also was urinating blood, so we think maybe he needs a cat scan or something like that. Hi, Mom. I love you. I made all this happen. <laughs> And the boxing coach, Big Seb, bronze medalist, Moscow Olympics. It's the man right here. He doesn't like Novocaine, by the way. Mm. Mm. Who was expecting Jared to start paying blood on me? Jared, man, why is it, it's always something with you. As is common for fighters after five rounds, Jared needed a few stitches, but the real concern was that he was urinating blood, so they had a CAT scan done to make sure that everything was all right. Cat scan came back and all systems were go. Jared got right back to work. In his fourth fight of 2011, Papazian would defend his belt against Marvin Garcia. Despite the difficult time cutting weight and having overworked his body, he took every round on one scorecard and four on the others. Papazian continued to sharpen his skills always keeping an eye on the UFC in hopes of getting that call. The call came, and now Jerry will be facing Mike Easton at UFC on FX1. The feeling of taking the fight in short notice is, I've been training, you know, like I have a fight. I was planning on fighting in March, so I was getting ready for a fight, and I was planning on dropping to 125, so my weight was good. I was sitting at 45, so my weight's good, and 
Uh, Easton's a really tough, tough guy. He's a jiu-jitsu black belt. Whoever's in the UFC is tough, but Hulk is... Uh, Easton's a really tough guy. He's got some good movement. He, just, he's, uh, he hunts down and has a good uh, leg kick, so I'm preparing for all that. And when it comes to January 20th, I'll, I'll be well prepared. What are you going to get into right now, sir? Uh, we'll do some counters and drill, some stand-up stuff. Work on that low kick uh, that Easton likes to work on and work on a game plan. Everybody says you're gonna get those uh, UFC jitters. Um, I'm just gonna treat it like uh, you know, obviously it's another fight. It's obviously my most important fight, but I'm just gonna have fun in there and uh, take care of business. Check out my fight on January 20th against Mike Easton. Um, I don't know if I'm on the main card yet, but if it's on, uh, if I'm on the main card, I'll be on FX. If not, for sure I'll be on Field TV. Regardless, I'll be on TV, so you can check me out. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. Godspeed and party on.